As a filmmaker or YouTuber, the amount of gear you can get to up your production is quite insane. From cameras to lenses, audio gear or lighting setups, getting the perfect accessories is not an easy task. I've been filming for quite a while now, even before I started this channel, and I've come up with four filming accessories that I think are really useful while still being not too expensive. And that's what I'll show you in this video. I made a similar video a while ago about other cool filming accessories that I won't show again in today's video, so I invite you to check it out if you're interested. So let's start with the first item. This one's a tripod and it's been sent to me for a review. This is the K888 tripod from Cinephoto and it retails for about $75 at the moment. Now, first thing I have to address, this is a photography oriented tripod, so why should you get that for video? Well, I think that a video tripod is a must if you're starting out, and that's what I would buy first. However, as I already have a pretty good video tripod, I found that one pretty interesting. It's really compact and lightweight, so it's great to carry it around. Whenever I want to shoot at work and need my tripod, it's always bulky and heavy to carry around in the subway, and I have a really small video tripod too. So I often end up not bringing it at all, and filming handheld or using a mini tripod. This one though, it fits in a backpack and it only weighs 3.5 pounds. Having a ball head, you can't use it for tilt motions. However, it can lock in any position and it's much easier to level your camera too, compared to a video head. You also get panning motion and the head rotates quite smoothly considering the price. This ball head features an Arca Swiss quick release adapter, which is the kind of plate that I like to use and that I recommend, so that's awesome. It can be great to support other accessories too, like lights or microphones, and it also has a great range of heights from 15 inches to 65 with extending legs and center pole. It also features multiple notches to make the legs wider, that way the tripod won't go as high but it will be more stable. All in all, it's a pretty good tripod. In terms of quality, my Manfrotto 190 Go is far better but it's more than double the price for the legs only. The few things I would change are the fact that the tripod is not super stable at the lower height. I think the legs could be a little bit wider at the narrower setting. The notches to adjust the width of the legs don't lock automatically, so you need to make sure they're pressed down before installing your camera. And there's a lot of twist locks to turn to get a decent height, but that's the price to pay for such a small tripod. I would definitely recommend it as a secondary tripod or on the go, or you could even replace the ball head with a video head, making it a super compact video tripod. Next item I had in mind is also a tripod, but a much smaller one. It's from Innerel and I bought it off AliExpress for about $35. I used to be a fan of the Manfrotto Pixie, but this one is on a whole other level. It's entirely made out of aluminum, it has a built-in ball head that locks securely, it also features multiple leg positions which affects how stable and high the tripod gets, it comes with a 3 8 thread mount so you can install a large tripod head on it, and it also comes with a 1 quarter of a hinge adapter. I added an Arca Swiss quick release system so I can easily install my camera on it for table shots, but I can also have other accessories like my phone, LED lights and my portable recorder. All in all, a super solid tripod that I would recommend if you shoot often on a table. Next item is a pair of earphones from Roland. These are the CS10 and they retail for $100. At first, they look like regular earbuds, but they actually hide microphones on each end and you get two 3.5mm jacks. One for the earbuds and one to connect the microphones to a recorder. They require plug-in power, which most cameras and portable recorders have. Even most motherboards on board sound cards have that. They're actually pretty useful for first-person shooting if you want to have a perfect stereo separation so that it sounds as if you were there. With the width of a head between the mics, you get a really precise stereo separation that is close to what your ears would capture, thus reproducing an amazing stereo sound experience. That's a really niche product that maybe only some of you would want, but I'll leave you to some clips just so you get an idea.
Finally, the last item on the list is a 15 inch carbon fiber camera slider from Endure. It's also sold under multiple brands. I used to be a big fan of the GT MN280 slider by Endure as it was really compact and allowed panning motion while sliding. This gave amazing results for the price. However, after using it for over a year, I've come to reason that it was not stable enough for my needs. My shots always needed stabilization in post and I had to retake my shots multiple times to get stable footage. So I got this one instead, still pretty compact but a bit longer allowing a greater range of motion, however the biggest plus to me is how smooth and stable it is. I don't have to worry about the shakiness of the shots anymore, I can just focus on how it will look. The added stability is made possible by how far apart the rods are and how big the wheels are too. Overall, it's a really great slider and while I lose the panning feature, my sliding motions are now close to perfect, which was more important to me in the end. There's also a few tripod screw mounts under, which is great as the built-in legs are a bit limited in what they can do. So I added an Arca Swiss plate so that it's compatible with my existing tripods. I also added a cheap ball head I had laying around on top. While a video head will allow more interesting moves for video, this ball head is perfect to set the angle at which I want the camera to be or simply to level it. And finally, the slider also comes with a pretty decent travel bag. So all in all, a really great slider that's as smooth as higher priced options and it's only selling for about 50 bucks as of today, making it an incredible value in my opinion. So that's pretty much it for the products. I'll have affiliate links down below if you want to check them out and support the channel at the same time. So hope you guys enjoyed, make sure you like the video if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't already as I'll see you in the next video.